Hi, I'm Paul. I'm here at Wesley Children's Hospital to show you what you can expect when you need to have surgery. If you're scared, that's okay. It's perfectly normal. There are doctors and nurses who will help you feel comfortable. Helping kids like us feel better is what they do. They'll talk to you and let you know what you can expect on your surgery day. And if you want, you can even bring your favorite blanket or stuffed animal. Just make sure your parents wash it the night before your surgery. Now follow me and I'll show you what you need to know. On the day of your surgery, if you have a cough, a runny nose, or a fever, make sure to tell your doctor so they can come up with the best plan for you. If you're watching this with your parents, make sure they're paying attention because here's some stuff they need to know. The night before your surgery, make sure you get a good night's sleep. And remember, don't eat or drink anything too close to your surgery. Doctors don't want anything in your stomach. Tell your doctor if you are not able to follow this rule. When you get to the hospital, remind your parents to park in the north parking garage on the corner of Hillside and Murdoch. The hospital may have visitor restrictions in place, so make sure you ask about them before you get here. If you've been to the hospital recently, then you already know. Everyone who comes inside needs to wear a mask. You can either bring your own mask or use one of the hospitals. There are even smaller masks just for kids. All of this is done to help prevent germs from spreading. After screening, your first stop will be registration, where there's always someone with a smile to welcome you. They'll check you in and give your parents an iPad to answer a few questions. You won't have to do anything here. You can sit back and relax. When they're done, you get a bracelet that has your name on it. You're now ready to go to the Pediatric Ambulatory Surgery Unit, or PJSU. It's where kids go to get ready for surgery. It's on the second floor of Building 2. We followed the signs to Building 2 and took the elevator up to the second floor. Once you're on the second floor, turn right. The PJSU is where you will change out of your clothes and put on hospital pajamas because the hospital wants the clothes you wear into surgery to be super clean. While you wait for your turn in the surgery room, you can read a book, play games, watch TV, and sometimes you may even be able to play with Carl the dog. He has the best job in the world, play with kids. Before your surgery, your surgeon will come and talk to you and answer any questions you or your parents have. Your child life specialist is there to answer your questions and to make sure you understand what will happen. You'll even get to see pictures of the room where you'll have your surgery. One of the fun things you'll get to do is decorate your mask. You can also put something inside to make it smell yummy, like cotton candy. They'll check a few things on your body just to make sure you're healthy and ready for surgery. You'll also meet a doctor called an anesthesiologist. They give you medicine to help you fall asleep so you don't feel any pain during your surgery. Before your surgery, you might need to take a medicine that will make you feel silly. When it's time to go to the surgery room, you'll get to go there on a bed with wheels. And if you brought your favorite stuffed animal, you can take them with you. During your surgery, your parents will be in the waiting room. It's just down the hall if the doctor has any questions, so it's very important they stay in the room or tell the staff member at the desk where they're going if they need to leave. The surgery room is filled with lights and machines and some of the people you met earlier. You will also get the chance to see the anesthesiologist again. They'll help you hold the mask over your nose and mouth so you can fall asleep. Remember, while you're asleep, you won't feel any pain. When your surgery is over, you'll go to the post anesthesia care unit or PACU. You may feel a little sleepy, but that's perfectly normal. When you wake up, you may be hooked up to some tubes or machines. Sometimes they can beep or make sounds. These help keep track of your heartbeat and your breathing. You will also have a small bendy tube in your arm called an IV. That's where the nurse can give you your medicine to help you with the pain.
Your parent is able to be with you the rest of the time in the hospital. Depending on your surgery, you may go to a phase two recovery room and then go home. Or you and one of your parents may get to stay overnight in one of our pediatric units. Before you leave, remember to ask a lot of questions. If you're leaving the same day, you have to ride to your car in a wheelchair. You may not think you need it, but it's kind of fun. Now you know what to expect for your surgery. If you or your parents would like more information, call the hospital and ask for PHASU or go to our website. Have a great surgery. Bye.